Welcome, fellow enthusiasts, to a riveting exploration into the multifaceted world of Marlon Jackson, a name synonymous with not just the legacy of the Jackson family but also a lifestyle that captivates the imagination. In this deep dive, we'll unravel the layers of Marlon's remarkable journey, from his illustrious career that resonates through the corridors of music history to the opulent realms of his mansion and the financial tapestry that weaves his net worth. All the details you need are right in this video. Let's dive in now. Marlon David Jackson came into the world on March 12, 1957, at St. Mary's Mercy Hospital in Gary, Indiana. He was the sixth child born to Joseph and Catherine Jackson. Joseph, a steel mill worker and musician, played in an R&B band called the Falcons alongside his brother Luther. Catherine was a devout Jehovah's Witness. Marlon's childhood was marked by a strong bond with his younger brother Michael, whom he saw as a replacement for their lost twin, Brandon, who passed away shortly after birth. Marlon fondly recalled their dynamic, labeling themselves as the Jokers of the family. In 1964, Marlon and Michael teamed up with their brothers Tito, Jackie, and Jermaine to form the legendary group known as the Jackson Five. Music ran deep in the family their mother, Catherine, contributed her musical talents by playing the piano and clarinet while singing harmonies with her sons. Their father, Joe, took the helm of rehearsals, steering them away from trouble and guiding them towards musical success. The Jackson Five quickly gained recognition, winning singing competitions across the state and even in New York marking the inception of their illustrious career. Though Marlon wasn't the most prominent figure in the Jackson 5, his contributions were significant. He provided background vocals on many of their hits and showcased his musical talents by playing the conga and tambourine. As their journey unfolded, brother Randy joined the band, filling the void left by Jermaine, who chose to remain at Motown when the group departed from the label and rebranded themselves as the Jacksons. Marlon was part of a large family, which included his sisters Rebby, Latoya, and Janet, each carving their own paths in the world of entertainment. In November 1967, Marlon Jackson and his brothers embarked on their musical journey by signing with Gordon Keith of Steeltown Records. Their debut single, Big Boy, hit the shelves on January 31, 1968, marking the start of their rise in the music industry. Despite their early efforts with Steeltown, the group felt compelled to explore new opportunities. They recorded additional tracks with the label before catching the attention of Barry Gordy at Motown Records in 1969. Motivated by a desire for fair compensation and creative autonomy, the Jackson Five made the bold decision to part ways with Motown Records in 1975. Jermaine Jackson opted to pursue a solo career within the Motown family, paving the way for his brother Randy to join the group. However, their departure from Motown came with a snag, Barry Gordy had trademarked the name, the Jackson 5, preventing the group from retaining it as they moved forward. Upon signing with Epic Records, the group underwent a transformation, re-emerging simply as, the Jacksons. This strategic shift marked a new chapter in their musical journey, allowing them to carve out their own identity while navigating the complexities of the music business. In 1983, a significant moment beckoned for the Jacksons when Barry Gordy extended an invitation for them to perform at the Motown 25, yesterday, today. Forever television special, this gesture not only underscored the enduring impact of their musical legacy but also symbolized a reconciliation of sorts between the group and their former label. Marlon Jackson, a member of the renowned Jacksons, made a pivotal decision following the group's victory tour, he ventured into a solo career, determined to carve his own path in the music industry. His debut album, Baby Tonight, released in 1987, served as his introduction to the solo spotlight, showcasing his distinctive style and musical prowess beyond the confines of the Jacksons. The album resonated with audiences and critics alike, propelling Marlon into the limelight and expanding his fanbase beyond the Jackson family's sphere of influence. Among the album's standout tracks was, Don't Go, a hit song that showcased Marlon's exceptional vocal talent and innate musical depth earning him widespread recognition and substantial airplay. Although Marlon's solo journey was relatively brief, his contributions to the music industry should not be underestimated. His solo endeavors underscored his individuality and creative ingenuity, establishing him as a formidable artist in his own right. Through Baby Tonight, Marlon demonstrated his musical versatility, seamlessly blending R&B, pop, and soul elements to create a captivating sonic tapestry. 
The album's diverse range of songs evoked a spectrum of emotions, resonating deeply with listeners and showcasing Marlon's ability to forge authentic connections through his music. While Marlon's solo career may not have achieved the same level of commercial success as his work with the Jacksons, it left an indelible mark on the music landscape. His debut album served as a testament to his artistic vision and potential, solidifying his legacy as a multifaceted performer capable of captivating audiences with his unparalleled talent and charisma. Next, we invite you to explore his house now. Mansion in Los Angeles, Marlon Jackson, best known as one of Michael Jackson's singing brothers, is the proud owner of a stunning estate known as The House, nestled in North Los Angeles. This remarkable estate, built in 1981, boasts a 7,000-square-foot main house that includes three bedrooms, a maid's room, and even a recording studio. In addition to the main residence, there is a charming two-story 3,000-square-meter cottage where guests can enjoy a comfortable and stylish stay. The home is a haven of luxury and entertainment, offering amenities for both relaxation and entertainment. Surrounded by a gated entrance, residents and visitors are greeted by picturesque views, including a swimming pool complete with a tranquil waterfall, perfect for relaxing on warm Los Afternoons Angeles. Tennis courts provide opportunities for friendly matches and exercise, adding to the property's appeal. Inside the main house there are many luxurious touches enjoy a grand dining experience with 18-karat gold wallpaper decorating the dining room walls, adding a touch of luxury to each shared meal in this elegant space. The house also has a large built-in saltwater fish tank, creating a peaceful atmosphere that enhances the luxurious atmosphere of the house. Marlon Jackson has decided to share the splendor of his mansion with potential buyers, listing the property for $3,900,000. For those seeking a combination of luxury, comfort and entertainment, the house offers a unique opportunity to own a piece of Los Angeles history and enjoy the lifestyle of the stars. Business Marlon Jackson renowned for his multifaceted talents in both business and entertainment, has delved into various realms beyond the realm of music. His journey led him to establish Marlon Jackson's real estate investment company, where he strategically ventures into diverse properties, utilizing his acumen to make prudent investment decisions. Leveraging his market expertise and negotiation skills, Marlon aids clients in navigating the residential real estate market, ensuring mutually beneficial transactions. Additionally, he has extended his reach into the commercial real estate sector, catering to the needs of businesses and investors alike. Recognized for his invaluable insights, Marlin offers professional counsel to individuals and organizations seeking guidance in the dynamic real estate landscape. Transitioning from a thriving real estate career in Southern California, Jackson made a foray into the media industry in 1999, co-founding the major broadcasting corporation, NBC. This Atlanta-based religious network, Established in collaboration with prominent figures like Florida attorney Willie E. Gary and sports icons Cecil Fielder, Evander Holyfield, and Alvin James, aimed to cater to a diverse audience seeking spiritual content. Under Jackson's stewardship, NBC underwent a transformation into the Black Family Channel in 2004, signifying a broader commitment to representing and engaging African American communities. Despite promising beginnings, the network faced insurmountable challenges and ceased operations in May 2007, leading to the sale of its subscriber base to the Gospel Music Channel. Unfazed by the setbacks in the media industry, Marlon Jackson embarked on a fresh endeavor in 2008 by establishing Motherland Group LLC alongside a new cohort of partners. This initiative is dedicated to fostering the development and recognition of Bagri Nigeria, with a focus on driving economic growth and facilitating cultural exchange. Philanthropy, Marlon Jackson, along with Jackie Jackson, demonstrated remarkable dedication to philanthropic efforts that transcended geographical boundaries. His altruistic spirit was on display in December 2011 when he took center stage at a charity event held at Amway Japan's esteemed headquarters in Tokyo. This event not only emphasized his global presence but also his unwavering commitment to humanitarian causes. In August 2015, the philanthropic torch was passed when Marlon Jackson visited Lafayette, headlining a fundraiser and brunch in support of the Kaboom Foundation. Proceeds from the event go toward building playgrounds in marginalized communities, ensuring that children in disadvantaged areas can enjoy fun and entertainment. Furthermore, 2015 marked a pivotal year in the Jackson family's philanthropic journey with the establishment of the Peace Research Foundation. This nonprofit organization, 
born from the vision of Jackie Jackson, is dedicated to promoting peace and unity on a global scale. Based on the belief that peace originates from collective action and the environment that we nurture for posterity, the Peace Research Foundation offers a range of programs designed to engage individuals of all ages. Year old, the organization's initiatives go beyond mere rhetoric and include practical efforts designed to sow the seeds of harmony and cooperation within the community. By prioritizing accessibility and inclusivity, the Peace Research Foundation strives to foster environments conducive to peace, thereby promoting positive transformations in social contexts. Central to the Jackson's vision is the recognition of children as agents of change, whose cognitive and behavioral development is intricately linked to the environment in which they live. Emphasizing the collective responsibility of society, His Holiness emphasized the importance of promoting an environment where peace and solidarity thrive, thereby nurturing future generations imbued with empathy and understanding. Personal Life Marlon Jackson, the renowned musician, embarked on a journey of love and family early in his life. At the tender age of 18, in August 1975, Marlon tied the knot with his sweetheart, Carol Parker. Their love story blossomed in the vibrant streets of New Orleans during one of the Jackson tours. Together, they formed a union that has stood the test of time. Marlon and Carol's marital bond bore fruit in the form of three beautiful children. Their firstborn, Valencia Caroline Jackson, entered the world on December 18, 1976, filling their lives with joy and laughter. Two years later, on September 4, 1978, Brittany Shani Jackson arrived, bringing with her a new wave of happiness. The family grew even further when Marlon David Jackson Jr. was born on September 23, 1981, completing their circle of love and devotion. As time passed, Marlon and Carol witnessed the next generation of their family tree flourishing. They became grandparents to six adorable grandchildren, two of whom belonged to Valencia and four to Brittany. With each new addition, their home resonated with the laughter and innocence of childhood, creating cherished memories that bind them closer together. Net worth Marlon Jackson, the renowned singer, boasts a net worth of $100,000 as of early 2024, attributed to his illustrious music career and successful ventures in real estate. Throughout his musical journey, Marlon's exceptional talent as both a singer and songwriter has shone brightly, defining him as a prominent figure in the industry. His dedication to his craft has been unwavering, earning him accolades and admiration from peers and fans alike. Marlon's influence in the music realm has been profound, with his contributions acknowledged through numerous awards and honors. Despite his remarkable achievements, Marlon remains grounded and committed to his passion for music. His legacy, particularly as a pivotal member of the Jackson 5, continues to command reverence from music enthusiasts across the globe. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please leave your comments in the section below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.